Welcome back to the Learning Layer segment. This is a special one because it's kicking off my conversation with Joe Kerrigan, and we're gonna follow Joe as he gets ready for his CISSP exam. Joe, you need no introduction. Uh, okay. Because <laughs> the CyberWire <laughs> listeners know you already. But for those who might not listen to Hacking Humans, why don't you just give us a quick uh, overview of who you are and what you do? So I am Joe Kerrigan. And on uh, Hacking Humans, they say Joe Kerrigan from the Information Security Institute up at Johns Hopkins University. I've been a security professional almost exclusively in security for about 14 years, maybe 13 and a half, mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, and it's been 14 years, and why now for the CISSP? Why? That's a good question. Why am I getting the CISSP now? Well, it, normally when someone's been in the industry for 14 years, they already have a CISSP, mm -hmm. right? Every, you know, if you've been doing this for more than five years and and you feel comfortable sitting for the test, you should be doing this. Mm -hmm. uh, it definitely, definitely makes you more marketable. Uh, but when I had been at Hopkins for a while, um, I said, I think I want to go get a certification, a CISSP certification. I, I meet the, the, the length qualifications. And the answer I got back was, we don't value certifications here. Mm. Uh, we value research. Sure. Uh, which, from a research university perspective, is a valid yeah. way of looking at it. Makes sense. So I've actually done research and been published a few times. I, I worked on an authentication system mm. uh, that was published at Financial Cryptography back in 2016. Mm. From that, I had a patent that came out of it for a signal modulation methodology. Mm. Uh, and I was published for a cybersecurity course that we wrote and produced and filmed and edited for uh, community college students. Oh, cool. Uh, and it's free and available to anybody if they want it. Uh -huh. It's a long way, long-winded way of saying that I've done interesting stuff, but the problem is in the industry, what does that get you? That, you know, mm -hmm. that a bunch of theoretical things don't really help you if you're <laughs> going to go in and do something operational, right? So, sure. uh, it's just time, I've just decided it's time for me to go out and get the certification. I'm curious, do you have any other certifications under your belt, or is this your first one? I do. I have um, I have the CC certification, which oh, is the CC. Certified in Cybersecurity. Yeah. Uh, that is right now available for free. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. You can get the uh, the course materials and a free exam voucher mm -hmm. uh, from the ISC Squared organization. They'll give it to you. Yep. So, okay, that is a very different test it than is. the CSSP. So tell me, why did you take the CC? Because it, I, I wanted to um, I wanted to see what it was like and mm -hmm. see what their training materials were like mm -hmm. as well. Because sure. it was free, it was essentially risk free. Yep. Right. So yep. uh, I could do that. So I I, I have a, a testing experience event. Yep. Uh, yep. That helps me gauge what the what the testing experience for the CISSP is going to be. So and I I do have to kind of rephrase my question and go back and clarify what I meant to our listeners. I said that the CC is different than the CSSP. It's a very different test. What I think I meant, I mean, you understood what I meant, but I want to clarify. Right. It's not that the content is different, because actually there's a lot of content There's a overlap, lot of overlap right? between yeah. the two, yeah. Like, and, and of course, let's say the obvious thing, they're both by ISC squared. Right. So you have the same question writers mm -hmm. sitting in the room who write the exams, the same people who write the CC versus the CSSP. What I wanted to say was that the difficulty is very different. So CC, as you described, a lot of discrete questions. Do you know this or don't you? Right. 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 Versus CSSP, you still need all that content knowledge, but they're going to ask you to apply that information. Right. So how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Are you ready to take your content understanding to the next level I for CSSP? Yes, I am ready to begin this, and I'm I'm anxious and uh, actually quite eager to get this on the road. Awesome. Well, Joe, we are looking forward to follow along with your journey. Um, hopefully, I can be helpful, and I know that our conversations will be helpful to those people who are studying for the CSSB. So we're I looking forward so. to it. <laughs>